Talk about snatching victory from the jaws of defeat or a puppy from the jaws of an alligator. Here's Richard Wilbanks in his backyard, caught on camera by the Florida Wildlife Federation, plunging into a pond to rescue his puppy from said alligator. He risks life and limb, attempting to pry the helpless mutt out of the maw of the scaly monster without even losing his smoke. I'm sure when most people in the media saw this, they thought, hmm, sure, he might have saved that baby, but his smoking is no example for our youth. I wonder who he voted for. Hmm. But Rich doesn't even break a sweat or lose his ash. He deserves the Emmy, not Cuomo. So, yes, this isn't that animals are great. It's more like a humans are great. Or maybe badass dudes from Florida are great. And the puppy's lucky he's got an owner with the stones the size of Mount Rushmore. Right, Rich? And all of a sudden, an alligator just came out from under the water and grabbed little Gunner and was had him back in the water and was swimming off with him. It all happened so fast that fortunately I didn't have a lot of time to think. I just, the instinct of saving Gunner because he's such a wonderful little puppy and I just, just wasn't going to let that alligator have him. There you go. So whenever you're thinking that you're not up to the day's unseen challenges, think of this guy. I'm sure Will Banks wasn't expecting to react that way to that event, but he did because he didn't think he just did. Not bad advice for all of us, especially me. All right. I, I was thinking, Jesse, you must have an analogy. <laughs> I hate to do this, Greg, but that alligator was this big. <laughs> It's a baby alligator. You're acting like this guy's uh, this like, you know, he charged into the teeth of the German Blitzkrieg. It's like a baby. And the puppy like pranced away like it, it didn't even get hurt. It had its jaws clenched. You're making this How guy out to be a little bit more than he is. Yes, he rescued the right, puppy. Would you do it? You wouldn't have like, done it, Jesse. I mean, come on. Jesse, you would have let the dog I die. I would have rescued Rookie. No, you, no, you Rookie could have beaten up that alligator. <laughs> I think we have an experiment this weekend. We're going to put an alligator alligator and your dog in let's not get too carried away <laughs> yeah. i think it was inspirational dana i watched it a hundred times i think so you know that i used to spend a lot of time in south carolina and my biggest fear were the alligators walking by you know when you go by and then like would they get the dog and i would always say to peter like, but what if an alligator he's like jasper's too big it'll never happen but it does happen and this guy i think you're amazing i think you're amazing and gunner looks super cute yeah. You know, Rich, I once wrestled a pizza pie out of a dog's mouth <laughs> oh, who had taken it off the table. And actually, people were thankful because he only had his mouth on one slice. And I ate that it was a chihuahua. Listen, strong Richards come from Florida. You oh, you're looking at yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. You're in Florida, Richard. Uh, but uh, talking about the analogy, the analogy sort of tantamounts to me to be, well, I didn't realize how small the alligator was yeah, uh, until Jesse just pointed see? that out. <laughs> but going off what you said about the rifting about, you know, could this be Donald Trump? But maybe the, the man, maybe Richard is, you know, uh, Joe Biden and the 80 million Americans that voted for him, uh, ripping back the hands of democracy, right? And the puppy's the democracy. Well, fair enough. I mean, I did do the... And United Donald Trump's the alligator. Yeah. The little one. Oh, the <laughs> little gator. All right, Dave. With little hands. <laughs> they don't have hands, do they? Do alligators have hands? I should look that up. Or not. Feet. They have feet. They have feet. They have feet, they have feet. that's right. Feet. They have feet. Um, I know a lot about reptiles, sadly, because I have no friends. Um... <laughs> This is the new test for anyone who's judging a future mate or partner. Mm. Would, would the, you? <laughs> would you jump? Would you wrestle a puppy out of the jaws of an alligator? Mm -hmm. And by the way, their jaws are still incredibly strong. Yeah, and their teeth are sharper. Very hard to that puppy just up. walked away. Un no, he didn't. He, he was, was bleeding. Saved. Their tails are like four hundred. You're going to get so much hate mail, and I, for one, am going to cheer it on <laughs> because it's, it's not going to you for the first well, time. Well, it's going to be. I can't believe Jesse didn't. I think we've learned a lot about ourselves and a lot about Jesse. <laughs> we've learned a lot about Jesse, and it's not very good, is it? Uh, I've handled alligators right that size. I'm kind of sad. I'm sad. You know what? Uh, the other thing, too, though, you always have to. What if you're the what if the dog is in there, but the somebody else is telling you to go in and do it, but they won't do it? That's what drive me crazy. You know what I mean? When the yeah. woman's going, get in there. Why does it have to be a woman? Could be anybody. 